Of course, the president's still searching for a new chief of staff. It's a big job. Like any job working for Trump, it comes with dental, paid sick leave, and free government housing for five to ten years. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, good behavior. Good house. behavior. Come on, government house. Yesterday, the White House announced that John Kelly will remain in the job through at least January 2nd to ensure a very peaceful and pragmatic transition for his successor. So they fire Kelly, can't find anybody else, make him stay to train his successor. It's like saying to your girlfriend, hey, uh, I'm breaking up with you, but I'm gonna need you to stay on until at least prom to ensure a peaceful and pragmatic transition to Becky over there. <laughs> You see, Trump's having trouble finding somebody who wants the gig, and he's been turned down by his first choice, Nick Ayers, who cited the needs of his family. And last night, he got rejected by former GOP presidential candidate Rick Santorum, who, like Ayers, said he couldn't take the job because of his family situation. This is like a reverse apprentice. Even Meatloaf said, I'd be honored to take the job, but it wouldn't be fair to Mrs. Loaf and the three young meatballs. <laughs> but oh, Trump... Oh, oh. Mm, mm. I could go for I could go for a yeah, meatball. go for a meatball right it's now. But daddy. Trump Trump says he's flooded with resumes for the chief of staff job, boasting that he's considering ten to twelve contenders for the chief of staff. Ten to twelve. So eleven? <laughs> ten to don't know how many. Somewhere <laughs> in the somewhere in the middle, like eleven I I'd presume. There's a reason the job search has been so difficult. Reportedly, any candidate who wants the job has to win the approval of Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. So congratulations to new chief of staff, Mohammed bin Salman. <laughs> Salam. Salman. Salman. In an interview with Reuters, Trump described exactly what he's looking for in his new chief of staff. Somebody that I can really get along with well. Somebody whose ideas are similar to my ideas. Somebody that will take my ideas and go with them. So he's really looking for his soulmate. Him. You know, he should try me harmony. <laughs> After that, <laughs> they seem very happy together. Me, they seem very I. happy together. Very happy oh, together. After that, the interview got a little weird. This is an actual quote from the actual president. I haven't heard this, but I can only tell you this. Hillary Clinton, her husband got money. She got money. She paid money. Why doesn't somebody talk about that? <laughs> because we have no idea what you just said. <laughs> what does... It's like a complication, like questions. Are... What does any of that mean? I haven't heard this, but I can only tell you this. <laughs> Translation, I found a lie in my butt. Let's yank it out to see what it's attached to. Oh. The lie makes no sense either. Hillary Clinton, her husband got money. She got money. She paid money. <laughs> Busted, Secretary Clinton, you're under arrest for first degree money guiding. <laughs> the reporter's also asked about uh, the possibility of impeachment, but Trump doesn't fear it, saying, It's hard to impeach somebody who hasn't done anything wrong and who's created the greatest economy in the history of our country. I'm not concerned, no. I think that the people would revolt if that happened. Yes, yeah, true. The, the people, people would take to the streets, vandalizing champagne bottles, grinning with rage, blocking traffic with their protest dancing. It would be absolute pandemonium. <laughs>